anticipation is mounting here as both sides get set for this matchup between the San Diego Chargers and the Chicago Bears here at Soldier Field. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims, and we're under the lights tonight. A little prime time action coming your way, and I know you love being under the lights back in your playing career. With well, I, I don't know about that, but, you know, I did like playing in the games, Jim. You know why? Because when you sit around all day long, the excitement builds. And also think about the atmosphere in the stadium. It changes, too, because you give the fans all day long to sit in the parking lot and to build that anticipation. So it just makes for an emotional, exciting game. Royals going to get set in the slot for this snap. Now first and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. That's an interception. That brings the play to an end. Here comes the man who's not afraid to throw it down the field. Quarterback Jay Cutler. You might not love Jay Cutler, but I'll say this about him. He definitely has the talent to be a Super Bowl winner. He can run. He has a great throwing arm, and he is tough. That's a great combination. It's often the difference maker in any game. And that is how you perform inside the red zone. And we're getting an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. you got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense... Touchdown. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there. They get to catch the football. They get to score touchdowns. They get to do dances. And... You're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. The Bears defense once again setting up that score. Turnover points cashed in by the offense. The returner opts for the touchback and the offense will begin at the 20. Royals in the slot. First and ten. Play action. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit. Knocked the ball out. Antonio Gates was a college basketball player at Kent State. Made it to the Elite Eight. Got it to the NFL and became a guy that almost changed the position at tight end. I'd say he's helped change the position, no doubt. Fast, big, great hands, just like he had in basketball. The last couple years, he has slipped a little because of injuries, but healthy, still one of the best. Second and ten. Incompletion on that hurry throw. As we get a look at the defense, Julius Peppers, a player opposing offenses, always have to game plan for during the week. Oh, yes. If you're an offensive lineman and you can't find anybody to block, know where Julius Peppers is and run over there and help out. Allen's lined up in the slot. They're down and 10. Eyeing that left side. And it's off the mark. Terrible throw by the quarterback. Terrible route by the wide receiver. Oh, wow, what a shock. The football was incomplete. Should be a routine punt. return you've got to be tough and aggressive as a punt returner in this league that time what a good job catch it get right up the field nice yardage they come to the line of scrimmage first down the handoff to Matt Forte as we get a look at the offense of course Brandon Marshall is a player to watch in this one Jim to be nicknamed the beast I think that says it all he's big and strong 6'4 about 230 pounds just try to get the football in his hands. He'll make it happen. No three and out to start this one. An early first down to move the chains. Good job by the offensive players executing the play call, and they pick up a big first down. First and ten. They set up the eye formation. It goes to the tailback. How about that run? Touchdown. Well, when 
the offense goes in there and scores again to increase their lead. It's got to give a lot of confidence to the defense. Now can they go out there and do their job? The point after try is in the books. The Bears kicking unit getting ready to go. The coaches have to be thrilled with what the special teams have done here today. The punt return certainly making it a short field and the offense was able to finish it off. Phillip Rivers has it under center. First down and 10. And Matthews is going to take the handoff now. The defensive end has the outside runs. That's his assignment, and he did it well. Takes on the tackle, beats his rear end up pretty good, and makes a tackle on the running back. Meacham's a receiver in the slot. Second down and 10. Working that left side. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. One yard loss on the play. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. And Matthews is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. looking to make a difference. Good piece of tackling. First down on the way. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. Picks up the first and still has some room to run. That's a touchdown. There is nothing like a long touchdown run. It takes so many elements to make it happen. Good blocking up front. A broken tackle by the running back. Blocking down the field by the receivers. They had it all. What a touchdown run. The Chargers will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick. Scores 21-0. to zero. Smartly takes a knee in the end zone. Phillip Rivers has it under center. Now first and ten. The Chargers now move the chains. What a job by the quarterback. Finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. That'll stop the play right there. That's his job right there. Most of the time, defensive tackles are not paid to sack the quarterback. They are paid to stop inside runs like that. Offense lines up here the throw to the left with two hands he has it going to lose yards here not much the offense can do in a situation like this third and long what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with the run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up the first down 
And speaking of McCoy, when we would meet with him in his days as the offensive coordinator at Denver, it was easy to see that you were just sitting right across from a future NFL head coach. Yeah, I think that's true. I think what's really been impressive and probably one of the biggest reasons why he was selected to be the head coach of the San Diego Chargers, that he... Man intercepted! That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Jake Cutler takes a look now from under center. First and 10. Matt Forte gets it here. And here's a look at the defensive line that will try to control the trenches today. Anderson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second down and nine. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. That's how we do, Dean. That's how we do. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it costs his team yards lost. The Bears will set up. The 28 is the first down line. Wilson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Cutler's going to take it from the gun. Looks to his left. The Bears get a first down. Gains 20. It's third down and over 10 yards. you got to give your offensive line a lot of credit. They give the quarterback extra time, and he makes the throw down the field to pick up the first down. This play set up by the long gainer. First and 10. Matt Forte breaks the tackle. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. After running it, it's second down. He gets it again on this drive, and a gain of four. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation, so a good, positive run. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The Bears still driving as the second quarter gets... Way. Hey. 
the Chargers. Defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Right where it had to be. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Throwing now to his left. And they score again here to pad the lead. Well, it's first to go. I think a lot of defenses are thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play. Very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. The Bears defense certainly contributing to the cause here today. And that interception was good enough to lead the offense out for a short field and a score. And he didn't get very far with that one. Only a run back of about 21 on the kick return. The Chargers bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. And Gates is usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Woodhead's taking the handoff. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. You've got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. And Gates has moved from the tight end position to the slot. Drop back, shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Well, it's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. And Gates is a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Third down and one. The quarterback throws to the right. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. Going to try and return this one. Nice tackle. The Bears getting ready now to start their drive. They come to the line and it's first down. Thompson's handed the football. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Two tight ends on the field here. Second down and 12. Wide to the left. Good for only a yard. They this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Bennett's in the slot. Let's go. Third and 11. Challenging the defenders to the right side. The Bears now move the chains. You just can't sit back there and play conservative defense in the NFL. The quarterbacks and receivers are too good. Third and over 10 yards, you play safe and you give up the first down. First down here after the completion. Thompson's got it on the handoff. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, this is just the worst case scenario. You got a big lead and you get one of your players hurt. It, it's just the worst. And, not only for the football team, but, but for the poor player, too. Second down and seven. Quarterback drops back. Play action. Steps out of bounds. 
quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run, you fake it, easy completion Let's down go. the field. Takes the snap, we're about midway, second quarter. Perfectly thrown. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. Play number six coming up on this drive. First down and ten. To the right side. Well, once again, the offense is in the red zone. They've got a big lead. I think it's up to this defense. Finally show a little toughness and try to stop them for once. First down here after the run. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. And he's intercepted. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. you got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time, the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play, and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. Now first and 10. Stands in the pocket. Incomplete. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Bears team official. He confirmed it was a neck injury. The team is taking this very seriously, so they've immobilized his neck. And guys, they'll take him to the hospital for further observation. And Matthews is in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. It's Woodhead slashes to the left side. Number 39 gets the call on the way. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Reaches out and grabs it. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. And Matthews is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. From the shotgun, he's looking to the right here on this throw. He'll go no huddle. Woodhead lined up in the backfield. Trying to work the middle of the field. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Browns, a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. From the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Forgot to catch the football. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. He's going to challenge the punt coverage. Gains 13. The Bears bring their offense back on the field for their next drive. First down here. Takes the stab from the shotgun. He makes the catch. And tackle down at the 49-yard line. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. That reception gave them the first down. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. Under two minutes to go in the half, and that means we've got a booth review. Inside of two minutes, so that review came from upstairs. They're just doing their due diligence. That play on the field will stand. It was the right call in the first place. Yeah, it was the right call, it. but you know what, too? Now it answers the question to the coaches, to all the people watching the game at home, and the fans in the stadium, the right call was made on the field. 
Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Pass complete, but did not get them the first, so it's second down now. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Anytime your receiver running any route to the inside of the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. Once again, this offense in the red zone. This defense has been awful all day long. Can they can they bow their necks a little and show a little toughness? And maybe stop them this time. From the gun. Trying to work that left side. Gains 13. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Touchdown. They're just running it up. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. And that's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Nickel formation here for the defense. First and ten. Weak eye formation. And they're going to run. Got to stay patient with the run game. That's what the offense is doing here. Even though they haven't had any big gains yet, there's a little short gain that time, but you're hoping to break one sooner or later. That does it for the first half. Chargers trail in this one, which is brought to you by Verizon. Chargers getting set for the kickoff. Turn ends after a run back of about 22. Bennett's lined up in the slot. The defense gets a sack. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. First and ten. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, this really hurts. Uh, you know, you got the game in hand, and now you lose one of your players to an injury when you're winning big. That is tough for the coach to take. The Bears get a first down. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Get ready. Out of the gun. He has the grab. This offense has been moving the football all day long. Once again in the red zone, they have a big lead. What will they do? I think they'll just try to run it in from here. They've got a first down now after that catch. Let's go. So first and goal to go. This is a screen play all the way. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. That was a nice job that time by the offense driving down for the touchdown to increase their lead. That really takes a lot of pressure off the defense. The Chargers ready to return the kick. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Chargers offense heads on to the field. 
The defense comes out in the nickel. First down and 10. Woodhead running right through the trenches. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight field, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. And Matthews is out in the slot. Get ready. Hey. Out of the shotgun formation. Looking to the right side and throwing. Tries to ward off a defender with a stiff arm. With the reception on the play. Five-yard gain on the play. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. The defense comes out of the nickel. Third and two. They feed the running back. That's a huge third down conversion, especially after all the failures leading up to this point. Woodhead lined up in the backfield. Halfway through the third quarter. They bring him to the turf. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. The quarterback throws to the right. Good job that time by the defense. Nice reaction. Seeing the short throw coming up and getting their arms around the runner and making the tackle. The Chargers line up. First down marker right at the 47-yard line. He'll fire it out to the left. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Well, when you want to put all the pressure on the quarterback to make really good throws down the field, play tight man-to-man -man coverage. It takes perfect throws to get completions. Not there that time. He's brought down. The Bears offense now coming out. It's first down as they head to the line. To the ground here. Now slashing to the right side looking for room. An off tackle run. It's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. It's second down and three. Go run it here. Out of the weak eye. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. Good job by the defense. All day long, when the offense runs the football, they are ready for the challenge and not giving up very many yards. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. Adam Podlish is ready to punt this one. Goodman now with a chance to return the punt. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. Let's go. Nickel formation for the defense here. Now first and ten. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. A tackle behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. And Let's Matthews has shifted from running back Two, to a receiver five. in the slot. Full start, offense. Still second down. And following that penalty, it sets up second down and 17. Makes the catch. They tackle him for a loss. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. 
Let's see if they can convert it. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. The formation here, shotgun. And they sack the quarterback. And that's a quick series, a three and out. And as the third quarter comes to a close off Lake Michigan, we'll take a short break before beginning the fourth here in Chicago. That sack on third down gets the defense off the field. Tackled right around midfield. They bring in the extra tight end. First and ten. Out of the eye. The give to the tailback. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Here's the handoff to Michael Bush. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Bush has got the carry once more. 29 with a carry on the play. One yard gain on the play. And now they'll try over again on second down. They feed it to him again. Tackle down at the 22. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Well, once again, the offense is in the red zone. They've got a big lead. I think it's up to this defense. Finally show a little toughness and try to stop them. For the first and ten. Staying with the running game on first down. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Offense lines up here. Second down and ten. He's headed right. That's a gain of eight. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Get ready. Three, three. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. Another touchdown to increase the lead. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line, they're able to maneuver inside. It's easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. He'll take a knee here, and that means the offense will start the game at the 20. The Chargers now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. And Matthews is in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. First down and 10. Stands in the pocket. Has it right on the sideline, inbounds. You just can't expect your defensive backs to cover that long. Uh, it's good coverage initially, but the quarterback had all day long, and sooner or later, these great wide receivers are going to get open. Woodhead is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Now first and 10. Reaches out and snatches it. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Woodhead lined up in the backfield. And out of the shotgun, challenging the defenders to the right side, did not get both feet down. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you have to receive it down the field on a quarter route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. Browns a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Third and nine. Screen pass as Woodhead. 
When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Browns out in the slot. Get ready. They'll go shotgun here. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Can't hold on. Holding offense. The defense will take Still the penalty. First and 20 now after the penalty. Drop back, shotgun formation. Waits for an opening to unfold, and they sack the quarterback. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. Play number six coming up on this drive. Set up screen. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. The pass is incomplete. Number 39, the intended receiver on the play. Floyd's a receiver in the slot. Get ready. Blue, get it, fly. Blue, hey. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Inhales the pass. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Good job by the defense that whole series. They put the offense in a tough situation. Third long, they stop them once again. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. First down, offense readying for the snap. It's handed to the running back. That's a gain of seven. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Offense lines up here. Second and three. Michael Bush will run with it this time. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Third down and two. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though the defense knew it was probably going to be a run, still able to get in there and barely get that first down. First and ten. Staying on the ground. And that's a two-yard gain. Hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. The defense was ready. Nowhere to go. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down and he's in pain. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury. And uh, just, it's a tough sport. A lot of big hits. And uh, I hope he's going to be okay. They're going to run it right. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Finally, the game comes to an